My dear brothers and sisters, soon we will be approaching the night of power. In the Ahl al-Bayt school of thought, the night of power, the actual night of power has been put in one of these three nights 19th, 21st, 23. There are more indications that most likely it is on the 23rd, on the night of 23rd. Our Sunni brothers believe it is on the 27th of Ramadan. In any case, my dear brothers and sisters, those last few days of Ramadan especially the last 10 days of Ramadan are the most sacred one, are the most special one. That in some ahadith, the Prophet wasallam used to move completely to the masjid and he would stop going home. He stays at the masjid for 10 days doing i'tikaf staying at the masjid being fully engaged in ibadah worshiping allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not only fasting but also worshiping allah during these days for those days my dear brothers and sisters have been designated for self purification to purify our soul these are the highlights of the entire year, my dear brothers and sisters. That we are encouraged to focus mostly on our inner self, do some more reflection and more ibadah, and being detached a little bit from our daily life, our daily routine, being away, that's why i'tikaf, staying and in the masjid and, and being detached from our normal routine is very recommended during the last 10 days of Ramadan. That you choose these days to be with yourself, to be with your Lord, to focus mostly in your purification, in my purification, and stay away and to stay away from distraction. Life is full of distractions, my dear brothers and sisters. It is a few days in the end of Ramadan that we would focus on the on purifying ourselves and trying and attempting to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, for the night of power, first of all, we know that the Qur'an was revealed in the, the entire Qur'an was revealed in the night of power. Also, ulama differ in the interpretation of qadr or power. What does it mean exactly to be Laylatul Qadr? So, some ulama believe Laylatul Qadr means the night that you all, we all will be predestined to our upcoming life for one year. Whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decides for you for the next year, it will be done in that night, night of power, based on your dua, based on your request. So for example, if you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to grant you to the opportunity to go to Hajj, you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the night of power and He will. If you have anything to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, ask Him in the night of power because He is about to predestine us for one year, one full year. And also some ulama believe that it is called Laylatul Qadr because the, the universe 
will be filled with angels that there is no room anymore it will be fully filled with angels that will descend on earth on the night of power keeping that night all peace salamun hiya hatta matla al fajr and among those who will descend down it is angel jibreel will be descending down first he will descend on the kaaba and then he will be casting salam on all the muslimin and muslimat all male and female muslims except a few those who chose to stay away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Jibreel himself cast salam on them so my dear brothers and sisters <clears throat> as we are pro approaching these nights and we are recommended to observe these three nights all these three nights 19 21st and 23 we shall come together inshallah we will be doing this all together so we will be doing the a'mal of the first night of power inshallah on sunday this coming sunday at 11 pm then also on tuesday at 11 pm and the big night of power will be this coming thursday also at 8 pm at nadi bin tijbil Vintage Bell Cultural Center will be celebrating these three nights. I encourage you, my dear brothers and sisters, that you would join. Come and join us during this spiritual journey. And bring you the, your copy of the Quran with you so we can do Ihya. We can celebrate these nights all together and enjoy the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during these nights. Also, we will be celebrating and commemorating the martyrdom of Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam. We will be speaking about that in depth during the next few nights. And as I mentioned last night, the upcoming nights till the end of Ramadan, we will have English lecture every night, English and Arabic every single night. So for those who speak English, they will be always finding room for them to participate in the program insha'Allah.